DreamWorks Animation Television was started back in 2013 when uh, DreamWorks Animation and Netflix signed a deal to deliver over 300 hours of original content for Netflix. A big challenge to that is a lot of the technical CG constraints of trying to hit the DreamWorks quality within a TV schedule. So Dino Trucks was a really interesting project. When I first saw it, it was really attractive in the sense that it's, you know, it's combining dinosaurs and trucks together. And as a little boy, I would love that kind of show. The first thought that I had was just, you know, I can't wait for the toys. But besides that, it was the technical challenges dealing with the metallic materials and also the large scale, because we have a really large character and we have small characters. We have really massive environments. All of that equals to fun times on a TV schedule. One of the big things I wanted to push for is having Mari within our texture pipeline. And a big reason was that I knew that it could handle the amount of geometry as well as the amount of textures that we would need on projects, especially like Dino Trucks. Uh, a lot of things that we really like about it is the projection edge masking and uh, you know the ambient occlusion mask stuff that, that you can bake. And then also just being able to layer all that stuff. But uh, really, whenever we got to the shared layer stuff, that's kind of like when it really had that light bulb moment for me with Mari. A lot of times you tend to just copy your color chant, uh, textures and then just paste it over and create your other channels from that. And by sharing the layers, it really kind of eliminates that back and forth because now you can work on both or all channels at once and just instantly see that kind of stuff. In a way, the, another beauty about Mari is that it gets out of the way technically for texturing. We can just kind of just feel free to just throw all these different text textures like drag images over, um, really just play around with like adjustment levels. By having all the layers and uh, intact within Mari, we're able to make a lot of adjustments uh, for our directors and executives and that's kind of what really helped us a lot. Nuke was a, a perfect choice for dyno trucks because by utilizing our gizmo system we're able to actually tweak the lighting on any time of day so it allows us to generate many different looks inside of Nuke and it, it really saves everybody time because we don't have to re-render things over and over again. One thing in the future that I really want to work on is pushing our pipeline more in Nuke so we can rely more on compositing to achieve the, the final result. I have a, a nine-month-old at home and I think he's kind of the ultimate say for me. Uh, I downloaded the Dino Trucks app the other day and we were kind of watching some clips together. It was like the first time I've seen him like sit still for once. <laughs> I, I could tell he was really excited about it. I think that's what's so exciting for me about Dino Trucks is uh, just seeing the reaction 